ABHT 11, ABHT 1705, cahaya juga. And then we are going to use also the another one. Ah, yang ini adalah untuk ukur suhu, AHT 20. Um, and then AGS. AGS adalah untuk ukur gas. Ha. Ini yang kita akan belajar sekejap lagi. Dan last but not least adalah untuk letakkan sensor kita dengan sensor apa ni? <coughs> This one PMS lah. Ha. Particle uh, particulate measuring system. Uh, particulate measuring sensor. Okay. So mari kita mulakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Pertama. Saya akan gunakan guna expansion board. Ha. Pertamanya nak tanya. You can know exactly what to do after this. Okay, if you can see on this uh, expansion board, they are already being named uh, according to the different kind of label. Okay, you can see over here, they got name. Uh, sama macam anda punya ESP. It is correspond to the pin. And then they got the GVS. Nampak tak? Kat situ, dia tulis GVS. On the left part here, they got the GVS. GVS is stand for what? G is stand for what? You got, eh? Ground. Ha. Okay, V is stand for? Volt nak ataupun your VCC and then you got the S. S is stand for signal. Ha. V is for voltage, voltan yang masuk, positif. Ha. G adalah ground ataupun negatif wire and then S adalah sig signal. So, this is a basic interfacing of the sensor. You can add at least these three wire. Ground and also VCC. And then another one is the signal. So, the signal change according to the resistant value based on that value we are going to calculate uh, for a certain meaningful data with regard to the measuring of environment itu dia punya concept okey jelas eh alright so you can see also we got the dedicated port uh, this is called dedicated port ni kat sini dia ada dedicated port Allah subhanahu wa taala ni atas ni sebelah sini okey this dedicated port is also numbered uh, numbered as follows ni eh ni kat sini. Dia akan ada SDA, SCL, uh, VCC dengan ground. Betul tak? Siapa yang guna expression board, you are going to see all this lah. And then this one is actually can interface with more than two I square C. Contoh, anda letak OLED display. OLED display kena pakai I square C. So ini dah satu sensor lah. Dipanggil output sensor. And then we got the another one, light dependent resistor untuk ukur cahaya. And then we got the another one. Uh, the, uh, apa nama ni? Light sensor also. Tapi yang ini I square C. So ni I square C. Ni I square C. Dah berapa dah? Dah du? Dua. So you can add another one. So you can add three I square C sensors inside this module. Yeah, straight away. Without needing uh, of installing um, ataupun soldering. Using the soldering iron lah. Tapi siapa yang nak pakai uh, solderless breadboard? Khalas. Sila pakai. Okay, cuma hari ni nak belajar ni, saya akan pakai yang ni. Okay, seterusnya. Sekejap. Macam mana lah, saya nak boleh tunjuk dan nampak. Boleh nampak ke macam ni? Ha, macam ni lah eh. Boleh nampak eh. Okay. So, mari kita mulakan. Aku nak tengok pun tak nampak ni eh. Okay, so pertama. Sediakan anda punya jumper. Jumper wire. So, I'm going to use the female to female. Female to female jumper wire. If you do not have the jumper wire, you can also uh, buy it lah elsewhere. Such as the, uh, apa nama, kedai yang kat depan ni. Eh? Okay. So, I'm going to use this three wire. This three wire eh. Female to female. Dua-dua berlubang ni. Ujung dengan ujung dia berlubang eh. And then, I'm going to install it uh, inside my LDR. Light Dependent Resistor. So, this is my LDR. Light Dependent Resistor. Consists of three uh, connection or three pin, uh, VCC, ground, AO and also DO. So, let me connect it. So, usually for the green, I'm going to connect it to the ground. And then followed by the brightest, the brightest color of the uh, jumper wire are going to be connected to the VCC. And then the last but not least is the orange color are going to be connected at the AO. So, it should be like this. Okay, can you see it? Nampak ke tak? Ha, tu, AO, uh, ground dengan VCC. Okay, try to mention to you before, all of these rows comprises of GVC, GVS kan? Ground, VCC and also signal. So, let's say I got here connected with the yellow color, the yellow color here, yellow color wire. 
are going to be connected to the VCC. Okay, so where is the VCC? So first I need to determine where I want to connect it. Kat mana saya nak sambung eh? Example eh, I'm going to connect it at the D34. So I'm going to connect the yellow color to the V. Okay, semua row ni, all the middle row is actually V. So I just put one of it lah. And then I got the another one which is the green color is actually connected to my sensor at the ground. This one also put at the G lah. In the similar column. Dalam column yang sama eh. Ha. Like this. D34. Understand eh? So ni semua 34 ni. Row tu. Row. Yes. One row. And then the another one is S. Betul tak? Sig signal. Signal also are going to be correspond to the S. So this is the example. So it's finished lah. Okay, I already installed one sensor. This is digital input output sensor LDR. I attach it to the uh, AO analog lah. Maknanya dia bagi bacaan analog. Okay, so now I'm going to install another sensor. Ini cara nak buat dia ya. Pertama, dengar ni, dengar ni. Untuk PKRI ni, dia ada step dia. Mesti tak tengok nota ni. Step pertama, kenal pasti dulu apakah inventory kesihatan persekitaran yang ingin kamu bangunkan. You need to identify what kind of inventory and monitoring of the environment that you are able and want to measure. If you finalize everything, then proceed according to the what kind of the sensor that are applicable for that parameters. Ha, itu dia punya flow. Jangan main terus, main sambung sana, sambung sini, sambung sana, sambung sini. Bila tanya balik, apa sebenarnya kamu buat? Kamu pun tak boleh nak explain. So, the reason of why the student fail to explain in the last part during the presentation is the why. That's why never start with the sensor, but start with the plan. What kind of monitoring and approaches that you want to use uh, for that exercise. Eh? Okay, saya ambil contoh. I'm going to measure the indoor environmental quality. In any workspaces. Example lah. This is my case study. Example lah. Eh? So, I'm required a uh, following kind of sensor. First, I require a sensor with regard to the thermal comfort. I'm going to use this one. AHT20. It is a compact, quite cheap kind of sensor that can be used to monitor the temperature humidity. And then, I'm going to measure the gases. So, I'm going to use the AGS10. This is also the gas sensor. And then I'm going to measure the particulate. When you talk about the indoor environmental quality, one of the undeniably important parameters to be measured is using this PMS. That's why siapa-siapa yang nak buat pasal ada satu group ah, Satu group ni bagus lah. Hari tu level. So to perform the risk, you need to have two important information. Exposure and also health effects. Where you want to get the exposure reading? That's why you create such devices. Where you want to get the health effects, that's why some of you also are going to use the app sheet or any other methods to collect the sample. Google form ke untuk orang jawab responses dia. Faham tak? Dia punya uh, score. Okay. So, dah siap untuk satu sensor. So, let us interface with the second sensor. <coughs> I also are going to use the another sensor which is the uh, light sensor eh. So, saya ada berapa sensor ni? Satu sensor cahaya. Okay, LDR. Satu sensor cahaya menggunakan I2C. Satu sensor temperature humidity. And then another one is the sensor of the gases. And last but not least is the sensor of the particle. This is a very good example of how we want to measure whether the indoor environmental quality in a certain workspaces are adequately given by the MVAC or not. Okay. Next, I'm going to install a uh, sensor with the I square C. So I square C require um, your good self to install it with at least four different wires. Eh? So saya gunakan four wires sekarang ni. So saya ada kelabu, putih, um, blue and also what is this? Ah. Eh? Um, Apa nama ni? Unggu eh? Unggu. So, how to install it using the I2C? I'm going to put at the following details eh. So, the 
uh, purple are going to be attached at the ground. Okay. The silver are going to be attached at the uh, VDD. VDD also known as the VCC lah. And then for the white, the white are going to be covered at the SDA. And then the last but not least is the blue. The blue are going to be attached as the SCL. Okay. Where I want to connect. Okay. This is the interesting part. This sensor can only accept 3.3 volt. <coughs> Berapa volt anda? 3.3 volt. Uh, and then fortunately, if you use the expansion board, they got the extension for the 5 volt and 3 volt over there. So I'm going to uh, install it uh, over there. So the... Um, silver color are going to be attached at the 3.3 volt followed by the another one the the purple color going to be attached at the ground and then the another two is actually SDA and SEL so because I'm using the expansion board therefore I have the 21 and 22 over here that I can leverage to use it eh? so later on I can share with you how Okay, so now I already install it. That I want to measure also, namely as the AGS. Okay, ini contoh AGS eh. AGS 10. It is also using the, uh, what we call it as the I square C. So same, ground, VCC, followed by the another one SDA SEL. That's why saya punya pandangan lah. Kalau siapa-siapa yang buat pasal um, air quality ke, ataupun any sensors ke, Yang ada I square C ni, better you beli yang I square C lah. Rather than normal sensor yang biasa. Sebab I square C ni dia biasanya, uh, dia lebih robust lah. Dia senang nak interface. Okay, so this sensor require 3.3 volt. Tadi dah nampak kan? Dekat mana saya letak 3.3 ni sebelah sini. Kenapa dia bersilang? Tujuan saya share board ni dekat awak. Supaya awak boleh nampak tau. Oh, kenapa dia pasang kat sini ya? Eh? Oh, sebab kat sini ada 22 dengan 21. Eh, kenapa dia pasang kat sini? Dia tak pakai dekat GVS tu. Sebab nak dapatkan 3.3 volt. Okay. Ha, itu semua benda-benda basic yang awak kena tahu. Okay. Saya tak bincang lagi apa prototype yang kamu nak buat. Sebab saya percaya banyak yang belum finalize everything. Tapi nasihat saya adalah selepas ini nanti. Macam mana pun, you kena bincang dengan SV masing-masing. You dah ada SV ke belum ada SV? Ke tak tahu pun siapa SV sama? Belum tahu eh. Tu siapa punya kerja tu? Saya lah tu kan. Okay, so dah siap. Nampak tak? Ada dua sensor I square C. So you can see over here, I got two I square C sensor. And furthermore, I can also install another I square C. Where I want to put? Because this one is 21 and 22. I got the another one is the 21 and 22 over here. So itu sebab, that's why, when you use the I square C sensor, it is quite benefited. Uh, because it can... Um, theoretically use multiple sensors eh? Dia boleh gunakan multiple sensors Okay, sebelum saya insert one here At the pin 21 This is 25 Okay, so this is pin 21 Followed by the another one is the G G stand for what? Ground And then another one is the uh, SDA and SEL So SDA is orange color 21 and then SEL is the another color lah. Okay, this is wrong. Ground. Ground should be black. Okay, I will share with you the the prototype board after this. So that uh, you can have a look lah. So this is how we want to install it. So you add the tiga I square C sensor. And then last but not least is the sensor for this one. This one is the particulate sensor. So, the particulate sensor require three pin also. Namely, as the VCC. And then, followed by the uh, ground. And then, another one is the um, RX and TX. So, the RX are going to be um, choose only one lah. It's either RX ataupun TX. Eh? So, kita akan pakai RX. Because we want to transmit the data into the uh, microcontroller. Okay, this one is blue. Uh, this one are going to be attached at the pin number. Uh, let's say I want to use the normal serial lah. 27 eh. So, this one is VCC. Ni contoh je saya bagi. Nanti anda tengok kan. So, ground. And 
and then the another one is the 27 okay so this is the example so my installation of the uh, hardware is actually complete three i square c one input output and then one serial this is serial communication eh? so apabila telah selesai maka i'm going to program it later on so kita akan program benda ni petang so saya akan uh, share juga benda ni dekat anda semua anda boleh tengok kalau ada soalan boleh tanya